Then I didn't film anything for a few hours. After the gym, I went to church with my friend and then we went to the mall for a little bit and then I got home at around 2 p.m. I totally forgot I was filming today. Now I just opened my French quiz. I get two attempts, 30 minutes, and it's open book, so it's pretty nice. Actually, not too bad. Sometimes they're a bit harder, but it's just been like choosing the right impersonal construction. And then here I had to make sentences using this construction and on this subject. I had to do that for, I don't know how many questions. And then now I'm just saying what this is. Okay, sportif. Oh wait, actually this is to tell me not. Nice. I finished my French quiz like three hours ago. And then I was cleaning my room and kind of just doing other little things for like maybe an hour. That was like my break. And then I kind of just went on my phone as well. But whenever I go on my phone, I always just feel worse after. So I try to not take breaks that way. And then I began my linguistics reading for my class on the phonetics and phonology of sign languages. It's really interesting, but it's starting to get really technical. This is the reading I have to do for Tuesday. And as you can see, it's the hand shape and sign. What? Hand shape and sign language phonology. So basically how hand shape influences the, phonolo the phonological structure of sign language. It's been really interesting so far. So far I've looked at how the selected fingers, like which fingers you're going to be using per se, versus which ones are in the background. So the joints, like this could be a sign, but if these are bent, then this could be a different sign, like this could mean a different word. And that's, that's purely just on how the joints are positioned. Yeah, and then this is where I'm gonna start reading again tomorrow. So 10 out of 28 pages, yeah. That took like an hour and a half. Right now I'm doing my linguistics homework. This is due tomorrow night. Uh, so we just have to draw tree structure diagrams for sentences and then explain if they're grammatical or not. Just wanted to quickly make the distinction that when using the terms grammatical versus ungrammatical, grammatical simply refers to a sentence that would be generated by a user of that language, whereas ungrammatical would be a sentence that would not be generated naturally by someone using that language. For example, a grammatical sentence could be, the dog is black, right? Um, but then the sentence, a dog black the, that's not a grammatical sentence because we wouldn't generate that in regular speech, right? So grammatical isn't synonymous with correct and neither is ungrammatical with incorrect because once we start using terminology like correct versus incorrect, it sounds like uh, we as linguists are trying to dictate how a language is to be used versus just describing what's happening in the language, which is the whole point of linguistics, just to describe what goes on in a language. And so if we start trying to dictate how language is supposed to work, um, there can be oppression of different dialects. For example, if a dialect were to deviate from those so-called rules, then they could begin getting oppressed for that because their dialect may look as less than because it's not quote unquote following these rules. So that is why we don't use the terminology correct versus incorrect and why grammatical does not mean correct versus incorrect because we don't want to be oppressing people. We just want to be studying language because it's cool. Then we also had to create our own grammar and I'm gonna explain all this in a bit. And what I'm doing right now is uploading my stuff because the other girl already uploaded hers. This is some of my dinner. Yum. I was gonna go to a young adults group tonight, but I'm tired. <laughs> I'm too tired to socialize right now. So I decided not to go and I didn't go last week. <laughs> Guess who's inconsistent? Instead, I mean, I'm, I'm also kind of too tired to do this, but I think I'm gonna try explain the new rule that I created. I kind of already did explain it. I just have to gather examples to support my claims. Okay, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. This song is very nostalgic to me and it's just been my theme song in doing this assignment. I'm just exporting these pictures so I can put this in my document. I haven't filmed since the gym, I think. I had oatmeal. I just got vegan protein powder, so I'm putting protein powder in my oats now. The protein powder is green, so then my oatmeal just looks green. And right now it's 10 and I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. I'm done now. My face is a bit red. Actually, no, it is. It's 1040. Mm, yeah, that took really long. I was waiting for a long time. But anyways, gonna go. I arrived at school. the water. I miss this so much.
just finished the session with the kid. I guess I could call him my client, but that sounds really weird. Um, I see this kid. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Now I'm gonna go home. I just worked on this for an hour. I'm done now. What I've scrolled so far was already done. I just added, basically I finished up explaining this rule that I proposed here and gave a bunch of examples and explained why each step was where it was and all that. And then this is another question. My partner's currently working on it. And then I think we're gonna be done. While my partner finishes up the last explanation, I'm gonna start my French reading. Normally I wouldn't start it this late, but I actually don't know how I got to this point, but I think I have 16 pages to read. Thankfully, this is a short story I'm reading, so even though it's in French, it's going to go way quicker than if I had 16 pages to read of an academic paper, like the phonological handshapes paper I read. If I had to read 16 pages of that paper by the next day, starting at probably this was at 8 p.m., I think I would cry because that would probably take three to six hours, depending on how dense the paper is. So how much information is in the paper, how much information is new to me, and also how difficult the concepts are to understand. And then some of these questions to answer. This is actually maybe my least favorite class because I personally suck at analyzing literature and that's what I have to do in this course, except in French, so it just adds an extra layer of complexity. Like, I can read this, but I don't understand every single word. I kind of just understand the general meaning, and then I have to search deeper within that general meaning to find even deeper meaning and make connections across the book, and it just sucks. <laughs> it's 7.20. I'm home now. I can eat breakfast, and then leave. It's currently 9.30 and I just parked and I'm gonna go start my long walk now and quickly email my prof that I'm gonna be late. My prof still hasn't responded, but I'm like three minutes away. Really power walked here. It got so hot I had to take my jacket off. I'm actually making pretty good time. The funny thing is, is I have to do almost this exact walk right after class. I'm like same speed and everything because I have a class from 11 to 12.30. And it's about a 24 minute walk from this class because this class is like really far away from everything. Like, this is like the residential area. It's the linguistics department office and it's just so far from everything. And then just so you guys know, unlike all the other courses I've ever taken, this course is not lecture based. So it's not like we arrive into the classroom and we all sit down and the prof talks and we take notes and all of that. No, we arrive and it's a table and we all sit around the table and there's, I think, seven students and we discuss the paper. We discuss points we found interesting, questions we have. Um, it's exactly as intimidating as it sounds. Um, sometimes there's a specific topic we want to focus on and so the prof will come up with certain questions. Uh, so I tend to keep my mouth shut a lot of the time because I'm not really confident in the comments I can make and sometimes I have no idea what they're talking about. But it is a very interesting class and that's also why it's extremely important to do the reading because otherwise you're going to be completely lost. Just doing a little mukbang, M mukbang? I don't know how it's called, but I was still hungry. Honestly, I don't know if I still am hungry. I think I am, but I'm afraid of being hungry during my behavioral intervention session because then the time moves so slowly. If I had an apple right now, I'd eat that, but I don't. <clears throat> so I bought this and I haven't had stuff like this in so long. So this almost feels illegal. 
But one thing I like to do, which I've been told many times before that is awful, is I like to put the ketchup on the fries. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of terrible and my hands do get dirty, but like I just can't be bothered, right? Oh, this is so weird. I haven't had this in months, but I mean, emergencies, I guess. Good. The language class I just had, so fast. So many things are going on. Like, the pacing of the professor is, he either goes really slow on certain things, you're kind of like, till we get to the point, and then sometimes he just rushes through things. So I just wish he would pace himself a bit better. But then again, not like I could do a better job. So he can teach, he just, like, either is going very slowly or going fast. I definitely need to sit down with the notes and look over them and think about them and then I think it'll make sense because I was just trying to write stuff down. I was like, what? And I'm also gonna look at the slide and compare my notes to make sure I didn't write anything down wrong because I was looking at what I wrote. I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. So I'm hoping that I wrote it down wrong and it's not an actual understanding error. I think that's enough of those for now. I'm gonna start driving. All right. So this is how I set up to do work in my car. So I just put this back. So far, I've only ever done it with my iPad. I don't know if my laptop would be too big, but I just <laughs> I'm to do this. This is such a weird angle. And then I can either just write kind of like this, and this is fine, or I can type. And it's pretty comfortable, not gonna lie. Like, I don't, I feel like I don't really have to look down that low. This is my pov it's actually not too bad i don't have to look down too much and i can work really well okay yeah this is um this is what i was talking about i don't understand this tree i don't know where this pp we kept saying pp in class and it's just a is it a prepositional phrase but he just kept saying pp too much and it like i don't know <laughs> it's just really funny uh but anyways i don't know where this came from so i'm gonna take a look at that this is what i'm trying to figure out okay so this rule as mv and okay so i just like to highlight so i can see what's what a bit better okay this is the b and this is the np okay and then let me look at this rule so this is here whoops and this is here but if that's the rule p and p or maybe oh wait i think this i think this one's from here i think i just drew it wrong because np d a n np is this aha uh -huh, there we go this one's here and then we have NP is this, uh, so this is this, but this, uh, oh my goodness, this is getting a little weird. The P, B, P, N, P, and then, okay. Okay, I just drew the, I just drew the arm wrong. That makes sense now. Okay, and then this is also, okay, I don't know. Oh wow, this really, how did I do that so many times? Okay. Okay, this makes more sense. Clear things up now. Um, amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm done now. Just adjusting my seat okay go home probably be home in like 30 ish minutes plan is to go climbing because i still have energy to do that and i think it'd be fun and it's it'd be good to see if my elbows are up for it again so i did some of my linguistics notes and then i got tired had dinner and was chatting with my brother because he's leaving to Europe tomorrow and then I'm not going to see him for seven months. So <laughs> that seemed important. And then right now I'm going to go and climb for an hour. I always get a bit nervous before I go climb though because I don't have anyone I do it with and it's just me and I don't know, like I just, I get nervous. Like, oh, I'm going alone. Mm, I don't have anyone to talk to. I don't know. It's weird. Like, I know no one's looking at me. No one's watching me. No one cares. But I just get a little intimidated. But, I mean, this is my only option. So I'm going to go and face my fears. I'm psyching myself out so much. I'm, I'm actually nervous to go. Like, I have a bit of butterflies in my stomach. I almost feel like... I almost feel like a loser for going and not having anyone to like belay with because usually in climbing like you have a belay buddy so you'll like hold the rope for the other person as they go up and they'll do the same for you but then they have something called auto belays here where you can just clip into like a rope that'll hold you anyways i don't know it's fine literally shut up i can do this i don't know why 
I don't know why today I'm especially just more nervous than usual, but it's okay. I can do it. <laughs> Just said hi, or no, just said bye to my brother. <laughs> He's leaving. Uh, but I'm gonna go to school now. It's 9.40, so it is later than I wish I would have been leaving, but I mean, I was saying bye to him. And yeah, the plan is to finish that linguistics reading that I haven't finished yet. I think that's honestly... Vous êtes sur l'itinéraire le plus rapide. Vous arriverez à 10h30. Dang, okay, well there's, well, I guess there's traffic. Yeah, I think that's, I think that linguistics reading is probably going to take the whole time. And then in the evening, I'm going to do my French reading. I'm feeling like garbage right now. Yeah. I just feel like a lot of things went wrong. Like I'm so awkward, I'm so stupid. So dumb. I'm just feeling those things. And like, I don't know, my hair is greasy, so now I just feel ugly. Uh, yeah, I hate when I feel this way. But I want to document it just so you guys know. Looking at the reflection in the university bathroom mirror and seeing the reflection of someone who looks somewhat put together with their long gray coat. The reflection I see staring back at me is someone I want to be so bad. Someone I want to emulate this smart and intelligent person. They are sharp. They understand concepts quickly and can apply them quickly. They excel in their university courses. They carry themselves well in conversation. They are sophisticated. But the cracks show. The greasy hair denotes from my sophisticated appearance. My awkwardness in conversation shows how this isn't actually me. And so long as I keep my mouth shut in lecture or don't ask my friends for clarification in what we're learning, at least I can hide how long it takes me to learn things. This is just a role I'm playing, but I'm not fooling anyone with these cracks showing. So I either have to get better at playing my role or give up and accept that I can't play this role well because I'm incapable of being this person in the first place. I don't belong here. Sometimes I play the role so well that I fool myself into thinking that this is who I actually am, that I am this intelligent, sophisticated person, but I'm not. I can't be. So I better quit playing this role I better take off the gray coat before I make an even bigger fool of myself. <laughs> 